What is up and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. If it's your first time visiting, we are an audio production company that reviews and analyzes all things music. Today we got a special one. Once again, we are looking at Taurus Stannon, The Hills, uh, the weekend beatbox cover. Last time we checked out Creepin', it about knocked me out of my seat. Man. Guys, if you want to support the channel, become a channel member right here on YouTube. Head on over to Patreon and become a member, or slide on over to Buy Me a Coffee for a one-time donation. Each of these gets you exclusive perks and priority video requests. All the links are in the video descriptions. All right, man, I appreciate y'all's support, y'all's info, y'all's feedback. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, last time this cat blew me away with the sounds he was producing. Not only that, the cadence, the execution, unbelievable. He's got to be from another planet. And a lot of y'all commented that I need headphones. I do hear you, but I got two sets of professional-grade monitors. I got some KRK, some JBLs. I got quite the setup that covers a full frequency response. Uh, but I might switch to headphones some, but, you know, I don't know. All right, we're looking at Tara Stannon or Tara Stannon, The Hills, The Weekend Beatbox Cover. Let's roll, man. He's a beast. Yeah. Yeah, man on the floor, he doing promo. Said keep our business on the low. I'm just trying to get you out the friend zone. Cause you look even better than the photos You sent me the info Hey, the dress it ten He's crazy, man. He is absolutely insane. And one thing we covered last time is his use of reverb, delay, compression, all that all that stuff. He's he's very good at using those effects in a very um, functional way to produce the sounds he wants. Uh, and he, his rhythm, man, his timing, his rhythm, he's locked in. The way he pockets that snare, uh, that snare sound that he's producing, such a beast, man. I enjoy, I told y'all, I'm just now getting into the world of beatboxing. Uh, D-Lo, I checked out two videos from D-Lo, and then a video from Taurus, and now this one, man. And I'm highly, highly intrigued. I'm a drummer myself, and I just love the cadence and how they produce the melody, harmony, and percussive uh, elements. Just so cool. I'm gonna go back a little bit. This is a shorter video too, so I'm gonna dig into it a little bit. All right, let's roll. The loud I'm just trying to get you out the friend zone. Cause you look even better than the photos. You sent me the info. The dress attention, yeah. I was coming since your friend's home. Keep on trying to hide it, but your friends know. <laughs> I only go your minutes. I'm the only one that. He, he went up an octave on that, too, man. That's a lot. He's got a, he's got a great voice, too. That's something that, you know, it's almost hidden in, in all that he's doing, but dude can sing, man. And there's something I'm noticing too when he makes a certain like face contortion when he's really hitting those sub sounds. Uh, Y'all beatboxers, let me know, shoot down in the comments. Is that like a technique that's used to really somehow get, get that sound out? Uh, just like a vocalist would use certain, you know, face, face movements to get certain sounds out. So I, I'm sure it is, but man. All right, I'm gonna go back to that drop. Let's go. The friends, no, no, no. I only go your minutes. I'm the only one that Ooh, I think he was panning left to right. I think he was using speakers and, and panning the sounds left to right, which is a cool effect, like a ping pong back and forth. I'm the only one that yep. Me. 
reverb in such a clever way to just create that atmospheric texture just so so smart man he, he he must be like a producer of sorts too because he's very knowledgeable about delays reverbs compression eq all that uh it seems I like that. It was like a reverse, uh, like a reverse cymbal swell almost, like the air was sucked out of it. Dude, so cool, man. He's so good with effects. To trust only you. I only right there. call you when it's beast man this might be i might like this one more than the last one just of how he used the effects the ping pong delay um in in, in the panning uh you know he almost used like that um like a reverse transient where you just flip the flip the audio waveform and like so instead of uh ascending it descending sucks the air out of it man so good i'm gonna go back a little bit watch that ending again like i said it's a short video I love when he hits those low notes, man. Just rattles the speakers. That's what I'm saying. These JBLs, man, just shakes the room. <laughs> Dude's a beast. To trust only you. I only call you when it's Let's go. good hey y'all shoot down in the comments let me know if any of y'all would want to uh want me to throw down some drums over this uh try to do it tastefully try to keep his art you know but try to throw down some drums over it man i think it'd be fire let me know if y'all like to see that another incredible performance by taurus man just such a beast hope y'all enjoyed that taurus brought that fire as usual unbelievable like i said let me know if y'all want me to jump on the kit Maybe throw down some drums to it, man. Try to do it tastefully. It'd be a fun one for me to do. So let me know. Shoot down the comments if it's something like y'all would enjoy. Guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So when we release more content, you all get it. Thanks for the love. It's been great meeting all of you. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.